Oké, okay, hier we have een uh, Asus board P8Z77M Pro that's failing to boot. So you can see nothing happens. And the green light is on there, so there is power on the board, but it won't boot. So we're gonna now get it to boot. So I already took the cover off. There is some time here. Put the light on here. Okay, hopefully you can have a good picture. If I can show you what I'm doing here. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take the jumper off. Okay, you can see the jumper is right there. Okay, it's a little thing. Okay, the jumper is that blue. It's this blue thing here. Okay, so we're gonna take the jumper from one to two and change it to two and three. Okay, there it goes. So now is a, this is a better picture. So what we need to do now, you can see the green light is on and there is our jumper again. So hopefully this picture is better than the previous one. And what we need to do is unplug the power from the wall. You need that light to go off. So let me just do that. And wait a few seconds until the light goes off. And there it goes. Now we're gonna change the jumper, like I said before, from uh, pin one and two to pin two and three for about five to ten seconds. Okay, so let's do that. Then all you can do is basic count, you know, from one to ten, couple of seconds. Take it off. Put it back on one and two again. Okay, and there it goes. Now let's start, try and power the computer. Now if it is fails to get the computer to, to boot, the other thing you can do is change the Cosmos battery, which is up here, okay? Now, uh, to do that, I recommend you to put, to, to use some latex gloves, okay, to avoid any static charge. And remember the battery is, is loaded as well, so, you know, really, you can see I have a brace, a static brace, so, you know, Use gloves if you're gonna change, if you have to do that. Okay, let's uh, try and start the computer. Okay, there it goes, so. Let's press the power button. It doesn't start, because I forgot to put the power cord on, okay? So let's put the mains on again. Okay, wait for that green light to come on. It's already there. Okay, and now we press the power button. And there you go, so we're gonna have the reset screen for the BIOS. So as you can turn the light off, so you can see and press the delete key, hold, okay? And you can see now it's telling me to press the F1. So I press the F1, and now here is my BIOS. Okay, so the next step, is you want to go to uh, advanced mode or you should actually try and press the you know the F5 click OK to load optimize defaults okay so there is my uh, USB drive I'll show you in a minute how to do that so now we're gonna go to advanced mode and we're gonna go under tools and then we're gonna go to Asus Easy Flash 2 Utility click on that and there is my uh, so here is my original BIOS um, uh, settings, so that's the one that comes with the board. And here is my update, so it's the one that I update to. So I'm going to do, I'm going to load this one, so you just select it, click OK. And you can see the bottom is now installed the BIOS. Updated to full, system will be reset. Click OK. Computer turned off, you do nothing, okay, you just wait, the computer will turn himself on again, you can see, just turned on, and now should just go straight to Windows.
it will take a couple of seconds as it goes. You just beep, so the beep means everything is alright. At this point, I'm go, gonna do nothing. I just let the screen go. Okay, as you can see, you went to setup. Okay, I will expect them to go to Windows. So just press F1 here. Okay. And we're gonna click boot menu and we're gonna boot from your number one hard drive. So I got three hard drives showing here. But my uh, C drive, which is the main drive, is this one, P5. So I gotta click on that one. So you may have to see the number of the first drive if you have more than one drive to make sure you're starting from the right drive. Okay, because what happened here is that uh, it's starting to boot from the USB instead of booting from uh, the, the hard drive. Okay? So now we're just gonna wait for this to restart to Windows and then we're gonna turn it off and turn it on again. So I'm just gonna basically film everything. Okay, and there it goes. So it's now booting. Now, the next step is you want to make, to make sure that the computer is getting the commands is not to turn off the computer on the screen. You could actually go here to start and try to turn it off there. Uh, don't shoot it down there. Just go and press the button again. Okay, wait for him to go off. And it's off, okay? Now we just did a couple of seconds just to make sure the thing has actually reset himself before we we updating the BIOS again, right? So save some time on the video. So I just gonna click the button again, and there it goes, it's booting. Okay, and let's look at the screen again just to make sure we actually see him going back to the windows and is now. Uh, booting from the hard drive and not from the USB and there it goes there is the windows and here is how to fix Asus P8Z77M Pro that won't boot okay problem solved so in the next video I'm going to show you now how to update your BIOS uh, so Probably you have to do this every time you do not like a card upgrade or updating hard drives or stuff like that. It seems to be a problem with Asus itself. Uh, hopefully they will fix this in the future. But they have uh, they have actually given us a, a lot of different tools that I will be showing in the next video how to update your bikes. So please comment, read, and subscribe. I'm Jose Nunes. Please comment and share. <laughs> bye bye for now.